Ladies and boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to do like walks in Premiere Pro. First, go to new item, sequence, horizontal 920, vertical 1080. Again, go to new item, color matte, change the color to white. Add this into the timeline. Now I'm going to add an image. Let me delete the color mat and add a new color mat. Select this color picker and select this color. Go to position and set a keyframe. Go a few frames forward and position to the left. Now select this ellipse tool and hold shift key, draw a small circle like this. Under shape layer, uncheck fill and check stroke. Let me adjust the stroke size to 10. I'm going to add a mask, select this rectangle shape tool and add a shape like this. Set a keyframe for mask path over here. Go a few frames forward and place the mask to the left. Now you will get this type of circle animation. Select this rectangle shape and create a rectangle shape like this. Uncheck stroke and check fill. Select this color picker and select the stroke color. Let me place this line over here. Adjust position, rotation, scale size. Create a duplicate of this line layer. Adjust position, scale, and rotation. Now I'm going to add a circle over here. Under shape layer, uncheck fill and check stroke. Place these two line layers and circle layer over here. Select the circle layer on top. In here, we are going to add another circle. Under shape layer, uncheck stroke and check fill. Select this color and change solid to linear gradient. Change the rotation to 80 degree. Under shape, check this rectangle mask tool. Add a rectangle mask like this. Adjust the mask, create a duplicate of this mask, delete the mask layer, place the circle shape over here, adjust scale, under shape layer change fill color to black, change linear gradient to solid color. Let me place this black circle layer below this half circle. Now I'm going to nest these layers. Place the playhead over here. Use the pen tool and I'm going to add a line like this. Add a black video below the shape layer so that we can see it better. Under shape layer, uncheck fill and check stroke. Change its thickness to 2. Delete the black video and add this line layer over here. Adjust scale and position. 
let me slightly increase the stroke size of this line layer go to effects and add rough edges change its type to rusty set a keyframe for evolution and set a keyframe change to zero go few frames forward and increase the evolution to 400 set keyframe for offset turbulence Go few frames forward and increase the offset turbulence. Copy all these keyframes and go few frames forward and paste it. Let me select all these layers and instead. I'm going to create three more duplicates of this in a sequence. Place these layers like this. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to and map white to yellow. Set keyframe for amount of tint. Change to zero. Go few frames over and amount of tint to 100. Again, go few frames over and set a keyframe. Go few frames over and change the amount of tint to zero. Select this rectangle mask or create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path over here. Go few frames over and place this mask to the top. Again, go few frames over and set a keyframe for mask path. Go few frames over and place the mask path down. Copy this tin and mask path, paste to the remaining three in a sequence. Now you will get this type of animation. Select all the nest sequence and create a new nest sequence. I want all these images to go right. So first let me place a playhead over here and set a keyframe for position for these four layers. Go a few frames forward and adjust the position to the right. In the circle layer, we also add a mask path. So set a keyframe for mask path also over here. Go a few frames forward and place a mask path to the right. Add a loudspeaker image in timeline. Press it on top. Go to effects and add horizontal flip. Add the position and scale. Set keyframe for rotation and position. Change the rotation to minus 30 degree. Place the position to the left. Go few frames forward and place the position to the right. Change rotation to 5 degree. Go to effects and add 4 color gradient. Change color 1 and color 2, pink and violet. Blending mode to hard light. Add a black video over here. Using Paint tool, we are going to add a line like this. Let me change the show color to light pink. Change the stroke size to 5. Delete the black video and place this line layer over here. Adjust the position and scale size. Let me increase the stroke size. Create a duplicate of this line layer and the rotation position and scale size. Select all these line layers and adjust it. 
Under opacity, select the rectangle shape tool, create a shape like this. Place the shape layer in here, set a keyframe for mask path. Go few ways forward and place a mask path over here. Let me cut this in sequence over here. Delete the armor portions. Now we want to make all these lines to fall down sideways. So double click on the circle in the sequence. Set keyframe for rotation over here. Go few frames forward and change the rotation to 20 degree. Do the same for all the other lines in the sequence. Now I'm going to select all these in the sequence and insert again. Under opacity, select a rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Check inverted. Let me go back to main sequence. Now I'm going to add a wave type of animation inside the circle. Double click on the circle and sequence. Place this layer on top. Let me select this ellipse tool and add a circle like this. Under shape layer, change color to white and reduce the stroke size. Select this rectangle mask layer and create a mask like this. Check inverted. Degrees opposite to 10. Create a duplicate of the circle shape. Add this position and scale. Set keyframe for position for this big circle. Place it all the way to the left. Go few frames forward and place the position to the right. Set keyframe for scale over here. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size. Set keyframe for opacity over here. Go few frames forward and change opacity to zero. Do the same for this small circle also. Place these two circles over here. Add an adjustment layer on top. Go to effects and add post rise time. Change frame rate to 13. Now we are going to animate the graph. Let me add a black color mat over here. Use a pen tool and I'm going to add a line like this. Under shape layer, change stroke size to 4. Place this layer on top. Add another color mat over here. Go to effects and add grid. Change size from width and high sliders. Width to 240 and height to 180. Border 2. Color change to light black. Uncheck uniform scale and adjust the scale width and scale height. Opacity is T. Select pen tool and add a line like this. Change color to pink. Select this layer and using rectangle mask tool, I am going to create a mask like this. Place this mask all the way to the top. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames forward and place the mask like this. 
Again, go a few frames and place the mouse to the right. Select this pink line layer and select this rectangle shape to create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few frames forward and place a mask like this. Let me place these layers to the right. Now we are animating the test. First, extend this color mat using type tool and go to add the test. Create a duplicate of this test. Place the position to the left. First, let me animate this duration test. Set keyframe for position and place it down. Go few frames over and place it at top. Let me add this guideline over here. If you don't have it, go to view, show rulers. Set keyframe for opacity, change to zero. Go few frames forward and change opacity to 100. For loudness, test layer, set keyframe for position. Place it down. Go few frames forward and position up. Also, I will set a keyframe for opacity. Change to zero. Go few frames forward and opacity to 100. Place the loudness tesler over here. Select duration tesler and set keyframe for position. Go few frames forward and place position on top. Select loudness tesler and set a keyframe for position over here. Go few frames forward and position to the right. And the test layer, select the rectangle mask layer. Add a mask for this test. Place it over here and set a keyframe for mask path. Go a few frames over and place the mask over here. Adjust both the mask like this. Using razor tool, I'm going to cut this loudness test layer. Place these graph layers over here. Let me extend this adjustment layer. Yeah, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos, and I will see you on my next video.